inside look what it's really like to work at CERN. The next big leap in societal evolution will no doubt come from the fast and exciting work coming out of today's STEM fields. Working to advance humanity to the next stage is a great goal for anyone looking to join one of these fields. What would it look like to work at one of the most prestigious scientific bodies on the planet? Today, we are taking a look inside of the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN. Have you ever thought about working for one of the greatest scientific research companies? Working to uncover the mysteries of the universe using the most powerful technology available on Earth is an amazing goal. While a career in scientific research can be difficult and isn't always fun, discovering something that will alter the way we view our reality is an exciting and ambitious goal. But what would it really be like to work at one of these places? And what kind of experiments keep places like CERN running? The European Organization for Nuclear Research runs studies across many different areas within physics, including the standard model of particle physics, to supersymmetry, cosmic rays to exotic isotopes, and more. CERN has been in operation since the first half of the 1950s and has been at the forefront of scientific advancement since its inception. With the help of the most powerful particle accelerator in the world, the LHC Large Hadron Collider, they work to unlock the deepest held secrets of the universe by smashing particles into each other at velocities near the speed of light. The Large Hadron Collider is set about 100 meters below the surface and runs for nearly 27 kilometers. Along its length, CERN has built nine different detectors in order to run a number of different experiments looking into the collision of particles. In these detectors, the LHC causes particles to smash into each other, producing a vast number of other particles that these detectors are built to capture and analyze. While each of these detectors have their own unique set of phenomena to study, they are all vital to the continued study of the subatomic world. During one of its early years, the LHC was able to make a massive breakthrough in the realm of particle physics when it first detected the Higgs boson, a particle which is now thought to interact with some fundamental particles contributing to their mass. The Higgs boson was first predicted in the 1960s by physicists Peter Higgs and Francois Englert. Until it was detected within the LHC, that particle lived solely in theory, which is one of the greatest aspects of scientific experimentation that ability to confirm what scientists think is true. Researchers at CERN are hoping for another discovery that helps confirm more aspects of the current models of our universe. But there is also hope that they will find something more unexpected, more of a surprise. Just this year, the Large Hadron Collider was turned on again and will be continually running and collecting experimental data for the next four years. The Director General for CERN, Fabiola Giannotti, has revealed that they will be looking for answers to questions related to dark matter, to why the Higgs boson is so light and many other open questions. There is a growing group of physicists who are starting to lean towards dark matter being some type of particle, whether that be a weakly interacting massive particle or WIMP, or another type of neutrino. The only place on Earth for a question like this to be answered experimentally is the LHC. In the world of the standard model, every particle has a specific energy level along with a specific vibration. There are particles that can be created using very little input energy, but there are other theoretical particles whose energy requirements far surpass any energy level that we have been able to achieve on Earth. In order to find newer particles, more and more energy needs to be pumped into the accelerator as the particles are being sped up around the tube. When the particles have more energy, their collisions will also be far more powerful and produce a variety of particles that can be at much higher energies. Scientists are hoping for a particle to pop out that they have yet to see now that the Large Hadron Collider has been upgraded with a significant power boost. They increase the power of the accelerator's injectors, the device that supplies the highly accelerated particle beams to the collider. This upgrade will allow protons to be pushed to energy levels around 6 point with tera electron volts in front of the previous maximum of 6.5 tera electron volts. To put these energy levels into some perspective, the most powerful bolts of lightning striking Earth max out around 30 million electron volts. 
If one tera electron volt is equal to one trillion electron volts, the LHC is being supplied with protons with the power of nearly 23,000 massive bolts of lightning. The standard model is currently one of science's best theories as to how the universe is put together and how it functions. But there are still many aspects of it that are either not fully understood or missing entirely. And not only can the standard model help scientists understand what dark matter is, it can also help shed light on the very process that control all of physical reality. Particle physics can be confusing. Some particles will decay extremely quickly into other particles while others are extremely stable and take a very long time to decay. Knowing how particles decay and what they decay into helps physicists fit everything together into the standard model. During this run of the LHC, there is a team of researchers trying to look into these aspects of the Higgs boson to try and find insight into the way it decays and its place in the standard model. The Higgs boson has thrown a wedge into physics, aiding what is called the hierarchy problem, dealing with the vast difference in the Higgs mass and the mass of other fundamental particles. Maybe with these new rounds of experiments, researchers will be able to observe the Higgs in more detail than before and answer these burning questions. Within the standard model, there are only six types of quarks, which are the building blocks that form many of the particles of matter that we see today, also called hadrons. But between these six types of quarks, there is an insane number of possible combinations that each form a different hadron. For quite a while, physics was only aware of hadrons with three quarks in them called baryons or mesons. But with the advent of more powerful particle accelerators, it was quickly found that more complex particles can also form, like the tetraquark, composed of two quarks and two antiquarks, or the pentaquark, made up of four quarks and one antiquark. All of these discoveries would not have been possible if not for the construction of large particle accelerators that can output a huge amount of energy. The European Organization for Nuclear Research has been at the cutting edge of scientific research and inquiry. They are responsible for many incredible, groundbreaking discoveries over the organization's existence of nearly seven decades. The power of the technology available seems to only be getting more powerful as the years go on. If this trend keeps up, it is only a matter of time before the equipment at CERN will be able to run experiments looking higher into the energy spectrum of particles to uncover the hidden truths of the universe. Will they be able to detect the graviton one day? What else will they find in the unknown? Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below and let us know if you have ever considered a career in scientific research and what areas interest you the most. See you next time on Matter.